Excuse me? Sir, the man with the camera. Yes, you. We have a photographer. Go someplace else. Oh, Leo. Leo. The on duty Santa. It's Mike, right? I'll relieve him in a minute so he can go to lunch. Tell him. Oh, and I'm, and I'm gonna have to borrow his beard. What's mine is? I don't know where it is. Tell him. Okay. I'm running a business here. I have a permit. I'm trying to make a living. Go someplace else. You're in my shop. You mind? We're selling 8x10, 5x7s, wallet size. We're covered. I'm not selling anything. I'm with the trim. We're doing a spirit of Christmas. Ah, with that bony bear. <laughs> Come on. It's all right, Mom. I got it. Who belongs to this song? Here, Fido. Come here. Rover. Over here, Rover. Yeah. Hey, Mitch. Hey, here. Is this yours? You're scaring the kids. Oh, come on. You're not scaring the kids. Give me a break. Yeah. Uh, Santa giving you trouble, huh, Mitch? Santa giving you a hard time. He's freezing. Yeah, well, listen, we all got problems trying to make a buck off the holidays with no picnics. Zag that Christmas only comes once a year. There you go, boy. Yeah, this old flag will keep you warm, huh? Good boy. Good boy. Oh, you're shivering. There you go. Hey, hey. Come on, no pictures. Can I just get a couple of shots of you and the dog? No. No, you can't. I don't want your money. What are you doing? We charge for pictures. You're giving people money? What's your problem? Sorry. You know, I think this guy's a little wacky. Listen, I got nothing against dogs. Why don't you take Fido over there for some hot cider and a donut and sit with Santa Claus? The three of you. And you take a nice picture together. No, thanks. Why? You don't believe in Christmas? No, I don't. Join the club. <laughs> Female, age 70, pulse uh, 110, BP 100 over 70, facial lacerations. What happened? Home invasion robbery. Mrs. Donnelly? You know her? Yes, yeah, she's diabetic. Mrs. Donnelly, it's Kathleen McAllister. Have you taken your insulin today? Oh. Okay, get 10 units of insulin ready, stat. Put her in trauma one. Mrs. Donnelly, you're going to be okay. And Betty, yeah. get a CT scan of her head and a skull x-ray. Okay. Another senior with no insurance? How do you think we're going to make ends meet? Well, we have a responsibility to the community, Dr. Merkes. Unfortunately, McAllister, not anymore. I just got word the boys at corporate decided to shut down the ER at the end of the month. What? Our budget came up $100,000 short. $100,000 is nothing compared to the lives of the people that come through here. I tried everything. They want to put in a new gift shop and sell overpriced coffee drinks. Dr. Merkatz, it's Christmas. Do bean counters give a damn what time of year it is? Well, I'm going to fight this. I know you love a good fight, McAllister, so do I. But this is about one thing, money. We don't have it. Two, where's Christmas number one? Put it in the bag. Oh, no. What the hell? Where's Santa? There's no Santa! Noah, the guys in printing are screaming for your picture. They're holding the front page. Hey, come here! Come here! What? Do you see a Santa here? 
No, look, no, get it together. Morning, Mom. I've been thinking. If your ER is closing, why did you ask Jack for spousal support? After all, you put him through medical school. I am not asking for a dime from that man. He's got a successful practice now. Well, I'm glad he's good at something, because he turned out to be a lousy husband. I don't know what I was thinking. You loved him. Mom, please. What if the hospital can't find a placement for you? My ER is not closing. I'll get through this. Can't be. What is it? Mom, it's Hank. Don't be ridiculous. No, look at his eyes. Tell me you don't see something. Kathleen, I can't go through this again. It's been 25 years. Your brother isn't coming home. Noah, I hear the switchboard's still jammed. We've never had a photo generate this much buzz. Not all good. What do you mean? People are calling because they want to reach out and help this guy. I think we're being disrespectful to the American flag. I only shot the photo. The problem, your problem, is you were supposed to shoot Santa Land, but you were too busy enterprising, as usual. Now, I don't want that happening again. Listen, there was this... A knowing little Santa who wouldn't let me shoot the kids. And the truth is, I got something better. I mean, this picture tells a story. It's about something. Yeah, I think you're going to like this flag. Oh, the flag's okay. Now, this is interesting. The metal's not for sale. Everything's for sale. I'll give you 300 bucks, cash money. Okay, 375 metals included. But that's my final offer. Talking about the flag here. It's special issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all and, handmade. You know and, and look at these moth holes. I'm going to have to pay to get this thing repaired. $100 is my final offer. A minute ago, it was 125 That was then. This is now. <clears throat> hey, you okay? <laughs> what is going on here? Dial 911. The man's having a heart attack. Yeah, this guy having a heart attack down here, the pawn shop, 119 Wentworth. Yeah, hurry. It's okay. It's coming around. Hey, aren't you the guy from the newspaper with the flag? No. Yeah, I thought you looked familiar. Hey. Yeah, hey, that is you. That's you, okay. right? That's you. And that's your dog. And this is the dog's flag. Hey, where are you going? Come back here. Hey! Hey! Noah, there's a Kathleen McAllister here to see you. Not that woman has been calling all morning. Yeah, and she's not going Noah Greeley? Uh, Ms. McAllister, mm -hmm. sorry, I've been swamped. I'm here about this you. picture you took. Were you McAllister at the bakery? Uh, it's my mother. I love that place. You guys have the best guns in the city. You didn't return my phone calls. I think this is my brother. I think inquiries from all over. Father, brother, long lost lover. Everyone thinks they know this guy. He disappeared about 25 years ago. He, he was a local hero. Everyone thinks their brother's a hero. Mine was. You lucked out, Noah. Talk about a hero. Our man's the real thing. Managing editor, Marcy Bernard. I just got a phone call from some pawn shop downtown. Our cover boy just saved somebody's life. What? CPR on a stranger. My brother was trained in CPR. Well, where is he? <sighs> I don't know. I, I, he, I, he disappeared. i got to get to the publisher about this. The publisher? Why? I want the paper to offer a reward. We'll do a daily column. The search for the great American hero. The tattered flag, the flea-infested dog. Our readers are going to eat it up like candy. You're not serious about the reward, are you? Well, of course I'll have to run the contest by legal. Noah, you still have the raw digital file of the photos. What's legal on with my raw digital? Well, we don't want to get caught with our pants down like last time, do we? This is a terrible idea. It's the whole Days. People love a feel-good story. Throw in a cash prize and everyone's going to want to solve our John Doe mystery. He has a name. You're right. We can't keep calling him that. How about uh, John uh, Holiday? Mm. John uh, Noel. John... Uh, John Christmas. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. 
Marcy, that's brilliant. Noah, you're off all assignment work until further notice. This takes top priority. Find me John Christmas. Was he with anybody? Just a dog and a story. And, well, what about the people at Sandland? Did anyone talk to him? He was alone. What's this? Shadow. Hmm? Flaw in the lens. You think that's your brother? <sighs> oh, it's been so long. Look, I can take you by the pawn shop if you like. I just have to pick up my daughter on the way. Hi, baby. Now, this is not the outfit that we had discussed for today, is it? Dad, you are a loser when it comes to clothes. To Carl. This is Kathleen McAllister. Nurse, huh? How'd you know? The dorky shoes? Okay, that's enough out of you, young lady. That's okay. I get a lot of that. Well, hospital scrubs aren't that glamorous either, but... What's a girl to do? You could go shopping. <laughs> so tell us, how was the audition? <laughs> Musicals are for geeks. I bailed. What? You've been working on that song for two weeks. <laughs> I didn't feel like doing it, okay? Mm. You okay, babe? Asthma? Yeah. Just do you have a rescue inhaler? <laughs> Breathe, relax. Right? Just remember, yeah, it's in a bag. Remember what we talked about? Just relax. Come on. <laughs> Does she have a steroid inhaler for every day use? Free clinic said they ordered it, but what about a doctor? We don't have one yet. So Carl and I just moved back here. But if I get on permanent staff at the paper, they got a benefits package with full medical. Not if, Dad. When? Listen, Socorro, why don't you come by Memorial tomorrow? Say, um, uh, 4 o'clock. I'll try to put something together for you, okay? Okay. Did he tell you anything about himself? Like, like his name? The guy didn't talk very much. He just said he's from Boston, and uh, he said he worked as a carpenter or something. That was Hank's hobby. Why was he selling the flag? <laughs> How should I know? Why is he in Bay City? What, do I look like I'm the answer man to you? All I know is the guy said, rain or shine, Christmas Eve, he was skipping town. Four days. I have four days to find my brother. If it's him, we'll find him. You want to ride home? No, thank you, but I, you know, walk. Thanks yeah. for the help. I'm the new god of the fire engine. But, Dad, you said I could go in the fire engine. Not now. No, you're not allowed. No, I'm so sorry, much. son. It's not permitted. There's only one exception. How old are you, son? I'm nine. You're nine years old? Yep. Well, wait a minute. Just a second. Hold the phone. I have to check something. Nine-year-old male wearing what color is that hat? Uh, black. You're the exception. So get up there. Uh, Go ahead. I have a black hat. Are you related? I'm a sister. Let me check. Let's see. Nine-year-old. And sister. Go ahead. Uh, I'm the exception. Go on up there. Oh, there you go. Thank you so much. All right. Okay, You're welcome. Let's get a Excuse picture. Me, sir. Oh. I'm looking for this man. Have you seen him? No, oh, it happens all the time at Christmas. Everybody feels sorry for some loser. This loser may be my brother. He disappeared about 25 years ago. 25 years ago? Well, maybe he did your favor by running away. I didn't say he ran away. Well, whatever you say, disappeared, run away. It's, I think it's time to move on, live your life. Could you please just tell me whether you've seen him or not? Oh, uh, yeah, I saw him yesterday. He was talking with Santa. And there was a photographer there. The photographer was taking their pictures together. Him talking with Santa. Santa? Yeah, some guy dressed as Santa, but this guy, oh, this guy is some character. What a piece of work. What do you mean? Well, he talks like he owns the whole plaza. Says he's got a permit. He's got no permit. I mean, this guy, this guy says anything. He just makes it up. 
So where would I find this man? Oh, I don't know that man. No. Well, no, sir, please. This is very important that I speak with him. I can't help you with that. Oh, I only know one thing. Wherever he is, believe me, he is making money. <laughs> We're here at Tribune Building, where it was just announced that the newspaper will offer a $50,000 reward for John Christmas and his story. It seems the whole city is obsessed with John Christmas, the mystery hero, and his tattered American flag. I'm Elizabeth Chu in Bay City. Find John Christmas. Okay, everybody, listen up. This is our goal right here, $100,000. And this is the show that's going to give it to us, okay? So who's auditioning first? Dr. Flynn, you want right. to? Okay, great. These are the tools of the surgeon's trick. Yeah. Are you uh, sure that's safe? Absolutely. I do it in the OR all the time. It takes the edge off. There's got to be an element of danger. I want to see them sweating in their seats. Yeah, well, Dr. Flynn, this is a holiday show. I'm not sure we want to make anyone uncomfortable. You know, I could use a volunteer. Here, catch. <laughs> so not funny. Why don't you just keep practicing? Hi, Bonnie. What'd you find out? What? He worked at the Tribune years ago. Are you sure it's Noah Greeley? Yeah, yeah, thanks. Hey, this is great. Hey. I noticed your boss doesn't waste any time. I heard about the big reward. Uh, yeah, the wire service picked up that picture. We're getting calls from all over the country. She's in seventh heaven. What's going on in here? Oh, we're, uh... Having a big talent show fundraiser on Christmas Eve. We've even invited Santa. Yeah, whatever. Hey, we talked about that whatever stuff. How many times am I going to have to repeat myself? I was able to make arrangements for Socorro to see a doctor. Thank you. Don't let her give you any lip. <laughs> I can handle her. I was a holy terror when I was her age. So I guess uh, her mom leaves all the disciplining to you, huh? Her mother's long gone. Socorro hasn't seen her since she was three. Oh, I'm sorry. Plus, we moved around a lot. Five cities in the last ten years, a bunch of different jobs. It's a lot of freelancing, huh? Yeah. Artistic differences with my bosses. You know, I had something strange happen to me yesterday. I went by the plaza and ran into a, a guard at the firehouse. He was there watching you work the other day. So, listen, just who were you taking a picture of? What do you mean? He said there was another man in the photograph. Okay, maybe not a man. Santa. <laughs> your brother and Santa? Come on, you saw the pictures. Your guard must have been hitting the holiday nog. He was adamant. So am I. There was only one guy in that photo. Socorro? Sweetie, where did you learn how to sing like that? I don't know. I guess it was for my audition. Yeah, the one you didn't go to? Hey, you want to be in our talent show? I don't know, whatever. Socorro! It's for a really good cause. Yeah, what's up? Save the ER. Okay, you know what? You just think about it. In the meantime, we're going to get you over to Dr. Marcus's office, okay? Hey, Donna, could you take Socorro over to Dr. Marcus? Thanks. That was the editor. The guy and his dog were found frozen to the Thunder Bridge last night. They think he might be John Christmas. You can see the body now, ma'am? Uh, uh, no. You saw the last of Can you? You know, the phone would ring every so often, and I just, I knew it was him on the other end, and he would hang up. 
Why do you leave? I don't know. Your mother must have some idea. She won't talk about it. Did you leave anything behind? Yeah, there's a, a pile of his stuff stashed in the basement. We just haven't had the heart to go through it. Sorry. You worked at the Tribune nine years ago? Yeah. Why did you get fired? I, uh... I enhanced the photo. Enhanced? It was a harmless little feature photo. A kid caught a home run in a ball game. I restaged it to get the shot. It was a stupid little mistake. They shouldn't have done it. Are you doing it again? Here we go with that Santa nonsense. <sighs> I barely know you, and, you know, you, you certainly don't owe me anything. I just... We're talking about my brother. I would just really like a straight answer. Okay. The guard at the fire station was telling the truth. There were two guys in that photo. Santa vanished. Vanished? Like he was never there. I tried to find the people who put on Sandland, but they disappeared, too. Why weren't you honest with me? What if my boss found out that I took a shot of a guy in a jolly red jumpsuit who vanished off the photo? She'd fire me. This is about my job. Your job, Noah! I'm trying to find my brother. That man might know something about my brother. I took a picture. After that, it was out of my control. So just do it that way you want. I will. down here what are you doing mom why did he leave i just want to understand that what's the to understand we never talk about this i just want to talk about it please i just want to know what happened a fireman never brings a fire home to their family whenever i tried to talk to him about it he'd shut me out or get drunk and then he'd talk about how awful the fire was didn't make any sense. He said that someone showed him the way out of the fire. It was all so confusing. This went on for months. Later, I heard he'd been gambling and losing. He didn't pay his bills. He owed money to everybody. Oh, such a mess. 
He even took money from me. I'm sorry, Mom. Well, you can't live in the past, Kathleen. And you can't go hoping for something you'll never get. What is that? Someone's in the house. Kathleen, don't. Well, there's no sign of forced entry. Are you sure the door was locked? We never leave the door unlocked. It was open. Somebody was here. But you didn't see him? We heard footsteps. Well, sometimes these old houses are just noisy. Is there anything out of order? No. But why don't we do a walkthrough and make sure everything's okay? We can check in here first. here? Yeah, absolutely. You were right. It was probably just some noises. I'm so sorry to have bothered you. Thank you. All right. No problem. I'll see myself. Thank you. Why did you send him away? Look what I found. This was Hank's. No, it wasn't. He took this with him when he left. Mom, this was Hank's watch. Can I help you? Yeah, uh, the, the guard that was guarding this fire truck, what time does he usually show up? Guard? Yeah, funny little man in an old-fashioned fireman's outfit. I, I need to ask him about a Santa that was here a couple days ago. Lady, we haven't had a guard here in over ten years. No, I, I, I saw him. He was right over there. We can barely keep the lights on here these days, let alone hire guards. You must be confused with some other landmark. I promise me you were quietly at the computer while I finish these proof sheets. She's bossy, but I like her. What are you talking about? Kathleen! She's better than the other ones you dated. Huh? History homework, young lady. I don't want to hear about anything but pilgrims. Yeah, and how they oppress the Indians. Well, you don't know about oppression, kid. Not yet. Yeah, yeah. Noah, you'll never believe what's here. It's his dog. So, Carl, you don't know that dog. Be careful. There's when a I note. came on duty, I heard him crying like a baby. Oh, Dad, why was he crying? I don't know, baby. I have no idea. Dear Bay City Tribune, your contest has made my life difficult. Everywhere I go, people are hunting me down, trying to get rich quick. My little friend's blowing my cover. Since you're forcing me to give up my dog, the least you can do is find him a good home. Signed, John Christmas. Oh, yes. His name is Mitch. This whole thing's gone way too far. Are you crazy? Readership's exploded. We've advertised this John Christmas roundup for tomorrow. The guy's going to show up and claim his money. It's down to me like John Christmas is even looking for a reward. What if we put Lassie on page one and auction him off to the highest bidder? Nice Christmas spirit. Well, I'm sure as hell not taking him home. I've got cats. You, Marcy, have actual living things at home? You promised me that when we settled down, I could Honey, have... we just moved here. You haven't settled down. Dad, so far, he's the first thing here I liked. And he likes me, too. Don't you mean it? Mm. This was for a few days. Once we find John Christmas, we'll reunite them. Man and dog. 
Christmas love story. Marcy, we live in a tiny two-bedroom. Take the pooch home, kid. That's an order. Good boy. Oh, nice cross, Mitch. I'm sure that watch has been in your dresser all these years. I know what I put in my dresser, Mom. When you moved back home, you started changing things around. It was probably under some clothes. It was not. This is the watch I used to play with when I was a little girl. And Hank promised it to me if I ever went to nursing school. Have you ever thought how much better off your life would be if you started using some of that creative energy on something worthwhile? Like yourself. <laughs> this isn't about me. Of course it is, Kathleen. You're always taking care of other people, but never yourself, right? Did you do this? What? There's got to be, what, $5,000? I emptied this yesterday to pay for some deliveries at the bakery. Mom, the watch, the money, it's him. Hank's back. I just know it. I hope it's not too late. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Um, I've been meaning to call you. Why? Invite him in, Kathleen. You'll freeze to death out there. Mom, this is Noah. Hi. Nice to meet you, Noah. Um, Sakara found this on John Christmas's dog's collar. And we thought it might have some connection to your brother. It's called the cross, Mom. wore this cross on the back of his helmet. Right here. He said it was his good luck charm. Your brother was a fireman? A great one. I have to go. He uh, just got here. Thank you, Mrs. McAllister. Noah. No, wait. Uh, look, I have to go, but Sakaro agreed to be in the show. Oh, great. Good, good. Listen, a weird thing happened to me this morning. I, I went back to the firehouse, the one next to Santa Land. Man? That funny little man, the one that saw my brother with Santa, that guard, doesn't exist. Just like your Santa. Well, who are you talking to? I don't know. What in the world's going on? I don't know. Uh... No, listen, why don't you stay? I'll, I'll make some tea. I really have to, to do homework with Sakaro. Thank you. Now tell her to be at rehearsal first thing in the morning. Every year at Christmas, I only wanted one present. Me too. I want you to use this money for your ER fund. It really is from your brother. He'd want that. Nancy, I think that should put us up over 18. Hug the herald age. Just Can we give her a minute, okay? Why'd you stop? Sounded great. This was a stupid idea. I'm not good enough. I'm never good enough. Well, then, if it's too difficult, just give up, right? You know, I, I had a brother, and every time I would think about giving up, I'd think about him and how he would never want me to give up on my life. Oh, I gotta go. Hey, by the way, thanks for having your dad come by last night. Believe me, I had nothing to do with that, okay? <laughs> Keep practicing. <coughs> <clears throat> Hug the herald angels sing Glories to the newborn king Glory to the newborn king He's on earth and mercy mild Good and seen as reconciled Joyful are ye 
sorry. I just wanted to ask you, did you pick that song? No. Well, congratulations. Do you like it? Not really. This is a good song. What is it? You want to hear it? Sure. All right. Uh, here we go. You have two? Well, this one's mine, but that one, I just bought that one for my girl. You have a girl. Well, you think I'm too old? No. How old is she? How old are you? I'm 12. Well, she's 13, and she's my niece, and she loves that song, and she loves to dance to it. Okay, so what's it called? Do-do-do-do. Oh, I know that song. You can sing doodle-doo-doo? Yes, I know doodle-doo-doo. Let's hear it. Let's have a little fun with it. Okay. Sweet, sweet for me. That sweet melody called doodle-doo-doo. Doodle-doo-doo. I like the rest, but what I like best is doodle-doo-doo. Doodle-doo-doo. Simplest thing. There's nothing much to it. You don't have to sing. You just doodle-doo. Carefully, Noah. Is John Christmas here? No. Yeah? No. No. No beard. Too stocky. Too tall. Too young. Not enough hair. He definitely did not have breasts. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, though. Hey, Noah. Uh, no, it's close. Huh? No, it's not him. I told you this wouldn't work. Noah, sorry, I got hung up at the hospital. Is he here? No, he's not here. Sorry I ran out of you the other night. I had a lot on my mind. It's okay. Oh, sorry, guys. No winners here. Tribune, thanks you very much for your time. Noah? There's a guy on the phone upstairs in my office claiming to be John Christmas. So is half the population of Bay City. He says you tried to pay him $20 to be in this picture. I knew I shouldn't have given you this job. Where's he calling from? The exchange is in the building. I just need a few minutes. Okay. Is this John Christmas? Stop calling me that. Who am I talking to? It's Noah Greeley. I took the photo. What's your real name, pal? Not your pal. And I want you to stop screwing around with my life the way you screwed around with that picture. What? I didn't screw around with anything. How come you cut Santa out then? Huh? I mean, there were two of us. What the hell is he talking about, Noah? We have $50,000 waiting for you, John. All you have to do is come in for an interview. $100 a word. It's a no-brainer. I don't want your money. I want you to stop whatever it is you think you're doing. I don't want a price on my head. You're making my life hell. Ask him if his name is Hank. Can I ask you a question, Hank? Hank, you still there? Just leave me alone. There is no story here. Noah. Hank, all we want is one interview. Hang on a second. We've got a location. He's in the lobby. I'll pull up the image on my screen. I think that's him. Hank? Hank McAllister? It's me, Kathleen. Please talk to me. Hank, please? Hank, come on, it's me, Kathleen. Talk to me. Hank, please? Look at this. 
He really was a hero fireman. Security. Yeah, there's a man in the lobby on the phone. I want you to keep him there. I knew there was a reason. He looked familiar. What do you mean? I was in the Holy Family Fire. I was in the sixth grade, in trouble all the time, I was always in detention. Besides writing on the blackboard, I used to just sit and watch janitors varnish the walls and desks and clean up. Someone left a pile of varnish soaked rags in the boiler room. That's how it started. They started to smolder. There was toxic smoke everywhere, and the second floor was ablaze. A lot of kids died right there in the classroom. That's Ricky. He was my best friend. For the longest time, I wish I'd died, too. Like everyone else. I'm sorry. We moved away. Too many funerals. Too many memories. I always wanted to meet the fireman who saved my life. Mom? Mom, you home? Mom? Mom, what's wrong? I couldn't sleep last night. I just kept thinking about Hank. <laughs> and I knew this was here somewhere. What? It's a list of the people he owed money to. His landlord, station chief, me. Maybe if he's come back to pay his debts, maybe these people have seen him too. He was just here? It would have been more than three hours ago, Captain. I can't believe we just missed him. Young man, could you hand me that clock? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Noah, this is Javier Vasquez, Hank's old station chief. Hey. They were old friends. Noah Greeley. Your mom didn't tell me I got hitched again. Oh, no. We're You're just, uh, friends. friends. Yeah. <laughs> he returned everything he owed me, Kathy. With interest. 20 years interest. There aren't many guys that'll pay you back. They'll pay you back with interest? None. Javier, why didn't you call me? Made me swear I wouldn't tell a soul. I can't lie to you, Kath. I hope you find him. Mr. Antonovich. Yes? I'm, I'm Kathleen McAllister. My brother Hank was a tenant here. Ah, uh, yeah. And he owes me money. He hasn't tried to repay you? Your brother pay me. What a joke. You not know him very well. No, we, we think he might try to contact you. If I see him, I turn him in for $50,000. My back rent with interest. That's so callous. Well, what kind of guy walks away from his family? Not pay his bills. A real man faces his problems, not run away. Hey, when's the last time you ran into a burning building and saved someone's life, pal? 
He is still a deadbeat. Here. It's my number. <sighs> Would you please call me if he tries to contact me? No, no, you keep your card. It will be 20 years before you hear from him. And when you do, you will be stuck paying for his funeral. I've owed you this, paid in full, with interest. We're closed. Come back tomorrow. Can't. I need to pay my respects. I told you, mister. We're closed. Wait a minute. I know you. <laughs> what are you, moonlighting here? How many jobs do you have? Not many. I've been working here for the past 30 years. You don't need to lie to me. I met you over at Santa Land. You offered me cider, donuts. You were dressed in a Santa suit. I think you got me mixed up with somebody else. People always do that, but nobody's ever called me Santa. Wait a minute, actually, you're the one that looks for me. Holy jamoli, you're the guy! You're the fireman hero! Hey, I'm Max. Nice to meet you. It's okay, I'm not going to turn you in. Listen, why don't you check yourself and pick up a quick 50? I've got my reasons. Uh, they better be good. I heard you say a lot of kids. Plenty. Still died. So, why'd you come back? I had some debts to pay. You made them. They're beautiful. One of the guys in my crew to know that I was here. Randy, I was best man at Randy's wedding. I'm godfather to his little one, Jake. Taught him how to ride his first bike. I helped Ernie build his house. All redwood. Clear dug fur. Still there. Carlos Morales. Carlos was going to retire that week. I always wanted to be a farm. Tell me one job where everybody sits down to dinner together. Yeah, you get close. They're, they're, your, they're your brothers. You go into battle together. I lost three of my buddies and a whole lot of innocent children. I lost them. And the mayor gives me a flag and a medal. And he calls me a hero. Huh? A hero? A hero of what? Why me? Huh? Why did I even live? I spent a lot of time here, my friend. And if there's one thing I learned, we're all haunted by something. These people here, they can never go back to their families. But you, you still can. How come I walked out of that school? But maybe God decided that he had more for you to do. Thank <laughs> you.
for Kathleen McAllister. She's in rehearsal. Kathleen! Kathleen, it's Hank. Um, Kathleen had to leave for a minute. Are you the piano player? No. Well, then you're way too early for the show. You have to buy a ticket? It's a fundraiser. We're trying to save the... Hey, I know you. Oh, did you come back for Mitch? Please don't take him That's away. That's not why I'm here. He loves his new home. I'm sure you're taking very good care of him. I could bring him over to visit you. No, the rooming house I'm in doesn't like pets. I can meet you outside then. Uh, the south side, not a good place for a little girl. You know, Kathleen really misses you. I think this was a mistake. No, please, don't go. Well, don't you want to see her? She's dying to see you. We're letting everyone in the ER go. What about the fundraiser? You're not even halfway to your goal. You have to face reality, tough as it is. There are no other positions here. So we have a severance package, which reflects your time here at the hospital. I don't care about a severance package, Dr. Ruckatz. I care about keeping this ER alive. I'm in a meeting. Socorro, are you okay? Your brother was just here. I thought he came from it. Dr. Marquez, please, give me one second. What happened? Well, I think he was living for you. I think he got scared and left. He's living on the south side. He said I couldn't bring Mitch over to see him because his rooming house didn't like dogs. Oh, Socorro, sweetheart, thank you, thank you, thank you. Where are my pictures? Only one shot came out? I didn't shoot this. No way. Oh, this is it. Last rooming house on the south side. Can I help you? Have you seen this man? Oh yeah, this guy. He checked out about an hour ago. No, wait. Uh, can I can I see his room? Yeah, no problem. But uh, it's already been cleaned. so close. Not if he doesn't want to be found. We've done everything we can. It's time to go home. Mm -mm. I don't want to give up. You're not giving up, Kathleen. You're accepting the things you can't change. You can't move forward in your own life until you're willing to let Hank go. He doesn't want to come home. Thank <laughs> you. 
How did you know that I'd be here? I got a photo from Max. Max? So it's happening to you too? Yeah. Yeah. Said his name was Max. I keep running into him. Yeah. Whoever he is, whatever he's doing, I think he brought us here today. Oh, really? Why? Can I show you something? From the fire? This is me. You're carrying me. You saved my life. In all these years, I wanted to talk to you. And thank you. You said I was the last kid to get out of there. How'd you find me? you up and started out, but it was hopeless. We were lost in the smoke and fire. I knew it was over. But then something extraordinary happened. I felt someone grab my arm. I couldn't see who it was in the smoke, but it wasn't one of my guys. He led me to the stairs. The light. The roof is going to collapse. I need paramedics. what it was, nobody would ever believe me. Your story would inspire a lot of people. The story of what? Of failure? You didn't fail me. The only people you heard are your family. Their lives haven't been complete without you. Let me take you home, Hank. I've done what I came to do. Thank you. 
Your sister needs to see you, Hank. Your mother misses you desperately. I can't face them. I ran out of them. You ran out on yourself. Promise me, you won't tell them about today. Listen, Hank, you're making a mistake. Look what Santa left on my doorstep. Uh, have you got a minute? I've got all the time you want, Mr. McAllister. Can I um, get you some dinner? No, I didn't come here to eat. I came here to tell my story. Well, I can get accounting to cut your check for you by the time we're finished here. I don't want your money. You have the power to do so much good and you just squander it on, on nonsense. You don't give a damn about me. All you care about is selling newspapers. That's my job. Yes, I guess it is. Why are you here? This guy I met. A friend. Um, said that my story might inspire some people. Noah, where you been? Listen, I met John Christmas, and he was amazing, and I let him go. So fire me if you want. Noah. I need this job, and I sure as hell need the money, but there are more important things in life. You sound just like him, full of piss and vinegar. You'd probably turn your back on $50,000, too, just like he did. What? He was here last night. His stories were running in the paper. A Christmas Eve exclusive. John Christmas speaks in his own words. He told his story? He wouldn't take the reward money, so I told him I'd keep his check. Just wait and see. He'll be back. Where'd he go? He's catching a ferry. I want you to get down there and shoot him. My God. We're running out of time. We're running out of time! No, I you need your camera! Get with us, Noah! I know where he is. I'm gonna pick you up. I just came to pay some debts. I can't stay. Yes, you can. Hank, please, listen. Just listen to me. When my marriage broke up, I, uh, I didn't know what to do, where to turn. But Mom, she... She made me come home. No questions asked. Because that's what family does. They... they, they all the arguing and the crying and... They stay together. Even after 25 years. Please. Come home. It's not that I don't miss you, Kat. I 
I think about you and Mom every day, and I... I just can't go back to my old life. Who, who's asking you to? I'm sorry, I can't. No, Hank, Hank, please don't walk out on me again. Please. You were always there for me. Like a father. I used to race home from school just to show you my report card. You coached my soccer team. You'd take us all out for pizza? All those screaming little girls, it must have been hell. It was. <laughs> you never complained. You're my best friend. I used to go to you for advice for everything. You were the one who told me how important it is to dream. And now I've forgotten how to do that. I'm sorry, I can't. No, Hank, you were my hero. You still are. Kath, please. Come home. Just come home. Last call for the Bay City Ferry. All aboard. Please. Morning. Surrounded by families, by love. Of course, it's also chestnuts roasting in the microwave. And you log on TV, but still you're a puppy man. Because I'm on the long shift tonight. There you go. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, man. Excuse me. Max. Everyone, it's uh, showtime. Kathleen, are you okay? You oh no, yeah, I'm fine, fine. <laughs> so, what happened to the uh, weapons? Oh, scarves. I reconsidered the surgical saw after I stabbed myself in my leg. Yeah, too much danger is not a good thing. <laughs> no, <laughs> knock him dead, Doc. Thanks. Oh. Socorro, you look beautiful. Kathleen, I can't do this. I'll mess it up. I want to go home. Hey, it's okay to be scared. It's not okay to quit. You have the talent to do this. Believe in yourself. <coughs> Take a deep breath and project. I want those patients on the ninth floor to hear you. Welcome to the ER Benefit, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on to your hats, take your seats, but be generous with your wallet. Yes, sir, I'm talking to you. <laughs> and you, and you. Ladies and gentlemen, be generous. It's the only hospital we've got. This is for the ER. Dr. Burkett, that puts us over 50,000. I'm sorry about Hank. He's still with me. Not always the way I want, but he's my son. And I'll always be proud of him. Welcome, everyone. I just want to thank you all for coming and contributing to the ER fund. Uh, oh, well, you know what? Let's just get to it. We promised you entertainment, so, um, 
Please welcome the youngest and know, maybe if we're lucky, the newest member of the year. Well, she might have to go to medical school first, but in any case, Socorro Greeley. a minute and um, thank everyone who has uh, worked so hard to keep our beloved ER alive. And I, I think it's important that we realize everything that we've accomplished, all of the lives that we've saved and the suffering that we've relieved and the hope that we've given. Of course, sometimes uh, we weren't so successful. Some lives we couldn't save, but we did everything we could. And you know, maybe that's the point. We never gave up. Some people we may never see again. And for me, <clears throat> for me, those are the hardest ones to let go. But I'm trying not to mourn their loss. I'm, uh, I'm going to celebrate everything that they've given. Their spirit will live on in my heart. <clears throat> and then, if we're lucky, some new and wonderful person might walk through that door. <laughs> <laughs> Someone we know we can always count on. So as we leave here tonight, we take our dreams with us. But we never give them up. With a little bit of faith and some hard work and a lot of luck. May all of our hopes and dreams come true. Merry Christmas, everybody. Um, next up. Is the ER chorus, and they're gonna sing. We did it! We did it, Kathleen! We did it! <laughs> What's going on back there? Can we get some light back there? We did it! It's a check for 50,000! <laughs> Oh. 
in this penguin suit. Don't play that game with me. I know who you are. And who's that? You're the guy that put this all together. I'm the janitor. And the only thing I can put together is some water and some soap suds. The tuxedo, that's for a little tap dance that I was going to do if Kathleen here didn't come up with the money. But you took care of that, Hank. Thank you. For what? For bringing us together. I didn't do anything. It was you. Me? What? In the fire. It was you. You pulled me out. Oh, hold on. Hank, I wouldn't walk into a burning building if my life depended upon it, but you did. How do I thank you? And that took courage. Real courage. You know, I can see you two pulling it all together. I want you to meet our mother. I really got to get going, because tonight, oh, yeah, tonight is a big night for me. But, Hank, I'm glad to see you again. It's a pleasure meeting a real hero. Kathleen, she'll understand. For Kathleen. Why not? Wait, wait, Max! We gotta talk! Buddy, keep shooting those front page pictures. Christmas present of all time. <laughs> <laughs> 